Hello and welcome to this build that I'm doing. So this is going to be my dream kitchen. So it's like hypothetically what my dream kitchen would be. I basically just tried to make a kitchen that was really nice. And um, I've attached a dining room area to it as well. So it's like a kitchen and diner. It's two rooms in one. Um, I kind of use the same wood and outside kind of feel as the other um, rooms that I've built in this series that I've done where I'm going to join them all together and make my dream apartment potentially. <laughs> it probably won't turn out anything like what my like dream house would look like but yeah this is what we're doing just for fun and we put all these counters in and um, the first thing I did was just kind of choose black and white colours because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do just kept it simple and then I add more colours as I work with the floors and walls um, so yeah here we are adding all the appliances and stuff um, and I originally put that bin there, but I do move that over. And yep, so it's just a lot of black and white, but I add more, um, I think it's wood tones, so yeah, there's wood on the walls, and then I do a kind of pattern on the floor. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do. I really liked the checkered tiles, but I felt like it was a bit too much for me, personally. Um, it did look really good, but um, this is what I ended up changing, but I do have two different kind of floor textures so that in the kitchen area I keep that shape um, but I also make a little diamond pattern on the floor where the dining area is so the table is is where that big diamond is um, I think I changed the floor textures again but yeah that's pretty much what I use so we've got stone in the kitchen area because it'd be easier to clean up and you want a more um, hard wearing kind of floor in the kitchen area. Um, yeah, I kind of experiment with, with putting lamps through the counters and I thought that looked really cool. Um, I think I do take out the lamp eventually but I keep that plant that goes through. Well, I keep a plant that goes through the counter as well. It kind of creates new plants and lamps for you to use so I thought that was really good. I'm definitely going to use that again. Um, I use mirrors as a splashback on the wall there. That looked really cool, like some kind of wallpaper like stripey with lights and yeah it makes the space look bigger as well um, even though it is a really big kitchen but um, when the apartment is finished it's not going to be that large because it's only three rooms um, yeah so I've already done the bathroom and the bedroom and you can see those on my channel also if you want to download these rooms I have to upload them to the gallery separately so you can download them and um, if you just look in the description box you can see the links there and just click that and yeah download them um, and when I make the apartment you'll be able to download that as well so I'll put a divider there just to make the dining room area a bit more private make the space a bit more dynamic as well and um, yeah I kind of use green tones so it's kind of an orangey wood but then I use um, some green chairs and obviously that green um, painting and some plants which has greenery um, so green and orange, yeah, I've never really used that combination of colours before, but I've seen a lot of other people do it. But anyway, we're nearly at the screenshots, um, so if you liked this build, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe for more, let me know what you thought as well in the comments section. Um, I'd love for you to tell me what else you'd like me to do in the comments section as well. Um, I've already got some ideas, but it'd be really, really cool if you guys could tell me like what you'd like me to do as well. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Enjoy the screenshots.